Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos, we are going to utilize AI, artificial intelligence to make and analyze our existing videos. For every session of CSI and Life Science, I already make videos on the most important topics for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination. And if you are wondering what are the most important topic from individual units for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination, then this video is going to help you. But this is a disclaimer that this video is made with AI because it I already made four or five different videos on individual units. From all the other units, I compiled them with the help of the AI and AI analyzed all of my videos and my strategies and it put together as a summary for all of you. Under seven, eight minutes, you're going to get a crisp and to the point summary of the preparation of any individual topics of CS and Net Life Science Unit, be it Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. For all the 13 units, you will get this video series both in English as well as in Hindi. So just don't leave the video because it's made with AI. AI can do wonders. Don't think that a teacher, if he's using AI, that means a teacher is not doing its job. Teacher is obviously doing its job, but it's compiling them with the help of the AI to take it to the next level. And I bet that after going through this video, if you watch one of this video, you'll be hooked and you'll continue the series and that is out there. Now, why I'm making this with the AI? Because I've already made it multiple times manually and it does not make sense making the same video every single time. So I tried something new this time with the help of the AI watch i believe you are going to like it if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike mention why you dislike and if you like to get more content like this also mention that in the comment section all right let's talk about it if you're a csir net life sciences aspirant you know exactly what i'm talking about unit four it's it's a beast right it's huge it's intimidating and for so many students it's a major source of stress but you know what Today, we're going to change that. We're going to crack this unit wide open using a really powerful, data-driven strategy that comes from a deep dive analysis of past exam papers. Does this sound familiar? I bet it does. This quote just hits the nail on the head. It perfectly captures that feeling of being totally lost. I mean, Unit 4 feels less like a syllabus and more like someone just threw five massive, totally unrelated topics into a bag. You've got cell signaling, then immunology, then cancer biology, host pathogen interaction, and cellular communication. No wonder it's so overwhelming. But here's the thing. What if I told you that there's a pattern hiding in all that chaos? That the data, especially from the recent post-COVID exams, actually shows us a very clear path forward. So stick with me here, because by the end of this, you're not just going to feel less overwhelmed. You're going to have a precise, actionable strategy to actually conquer this unit. Okay, let's get right into our first major insight. I like to call this the 70% rule. This one idea, pulled straight from recent exam trends, is gonna completely change how you look at this unit. It's that powerful. So, with five gigantic topics to choose from, where do the examiners actually put their focus? You know, where are the marks really hiding? And here it is. This is the 70% rule in action. I mean, just look at this chart. A whopping 70%, 70% of all the questions from Unit 4 come from just two topics, cancer biology and immunology. Just let that sink in for a second. Out of five massive subjects, only two of them account for the vast majority of the marks. This right here, this single piece of data is the foundation of our entire strategy. If you want to maximize your score, your focus absolutely has to start here. So now that we have this game-changing 70% rule, what do we do with it? Well. We can use it to create a super simple but incredibly effective priority system. We're going to break the whole unit down into three tiers, green, blue, and red, to give you a crystal clear guide for your study plan. First up are green topics. Think of these as your non-negotiables, your absolute top priority. As we just saw, cancer biology and immunology are the heavy hitters. They are the source of that 70%. So if you're short on time and you can only master two areas, these are it. No question about it. Next, we've got our blue topics. These are your moderately important subjects, host parasite interaction and cell signaling. They definitely show up on the exam, for sure, but just not with the same consistency as our green topics. 
So you can think of these as your secondary targets, a fantastic way to scoop up extra marks once you've really nailed down your foundation in those green areas. And finally, our red topic, cellular communication. Now be careful here, least important does not mean useless, and this is a really crucial strategic point. So while it might have the fewest questions, the topic itself is actually pretty simple. It's often just a single chapter that can give you one guaranteed easy question. So don't just dismiss it, this could be the most strategic, low effort point you score. Okay, so we've got the data, and we've got our priorities straight. But how do we turn all this knowledge into an actual study plan? Well, this is where it gets really powerful. See, this isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. The data actually reveals two very distinct paths to success, and you get to choose the one that fits you best. Let's break these two paths down. So on the left, we've got path one, the specialist. This is for all of you who wanna go all in on those two green topics, cancer bio and immunology. And as you can see, this path is probably best for those who already have a strong immunology background, maybe from a biotech or microbiology degree. But on the right, we have a very clever alternative, path two the diversifier. With this strategy, you actually skip the massive topic of immunology. And why would you do that? Because learning it from scratch is a huge, huge time sink. So instead, you focus on mastering the other four topics. You're still aiming for a similar number of questions, but you're getting them from a much more manageable set of material. So we've seen the data and we've laid out the two strategic paths that it reveals. The real power of this analysis isn't just about knowing what's important. It's about empowering you to make a conscious, effective choice for your own preparation. So how do you make your choice? It's simple, just follow these three steps. First, assess your background and be brutally honest with yourself. Do you already have a solid foundation in immunology or are you pretty much starting from scratch? Second, evaluate your time. Mastering immunology is not a weekend job. It can take months. Do you realistically have that kind of time to dedicate? And third, and this is probably the most important part, commit, pick a path and stick to it. The fastest way to waste time and get nowhere is to try and do a little bit of both. At the end of the day, the data tells a very clear story. Success in this exam isn't about studying harder, it's about studying smarter. You now have the blueprint, the choice is yours. Are you gonna be the specialist or the diversifier? So I believe you got an overall detailed idea about how do you prepare this particular unit for the CSI net, upcoming CSI net life science examination preparation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, colleagues and subscribe to this channel. And also mention what necessary adjustment that we need to do to make more of this kind of videos. Should you make them? Should you not make them? And also, uh, if you wish to join Shomu's biology, because this video is actually made from four of my YouTube videos. I feed four of my existing YouTube videos and AI gave this output. So it is basically my own content. It is churned content of mine. So if you wish to get this content, if you want to get trained by me, get coached by me for CSI Net Life Science Examination Preparation, then join our online coaching. The admission is going on. Contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our Shomus Biology application from Google Play Store. You'll find all the course details in there. You can also buy our study material package, five books, 3,900 rupees, five books plus 64 GB recorded lecture content, 8,900 rupees. Always from our website or directly from us by contacting 9804654228 number in WhatsApp. So mention your, uh, you know, say in the comment section so that I get to know whether you liked it or not. See you there in the next video. Thank you. Bye.